Okay. Okay, so how do I <coughs> uh, mute attendees? Okay, everybody's muted out, and uh, that's we're quiet on the phone. And now I'm just going to ask for one more go ahead and just say that. Uh, Yep, go ahead. Okay, Lynn, thanks. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is the river. I think I did. I hit the mic. I want to make sure that we're recording this, folks, just for uh, for fun, screen sharing, recording. Okay, we are. Okay, I took a river cruise uh, last November, and it was on my bucket list, and I always wanted to, always wanted to do it. And I uh, wrote a letter to Amma saying, Amma, I always wanted the river cruise. Tell me what I have to do to earn two cabins on a river cruise. Uh, I was up front and I said, you, let's barter. You know, tell me in the next three years I can do something for you and you give me two cabins. Well, um, the AMA president, uh, Christine Cars, got back to me right away and she said, Mike, the, I, I'd like you to take a cruise and then tell me what you think. So I did and I thought it was absolutely marvelous. So in my effort to say, okay, now it's payback time, what can I do to help river cruising in general, and, and AMA in general. So I put together a program called How to Sell River Cruises in a Box. And I tried to put everything together for travel agents to get them thinking and feeling comfortable with river cruising so they can then use this tool to go out and solicit an audience to share their information. So that's, that's what I did. And here's, I'm going to walk you through what I have now. And then I'm going to ask the people on the phone call to send me an email back and critique it because this is a work in project. I want this to be right. And, and, and the way I think and the way you, the audience, think could be two different thoughts. So, so I want to solicit your input here. Now, this is not about me and it's not about AMA Waterways. However, AMA was the one who supported me in putting this together. So if you go... If you go, I'm going to give you the URL later, uh, but if you go uh, to the first page, you'll see how to sell water cruises, and then there's an immediate welcome video, and there's River Cruising in a Box. You hit that. It's a YouTube video of me welcoming you to the program, and, and I tell you how to do it. That's the, the video on the front page. And then why River Cruises and the window of opportunity, and I explain a little bit about uh, what the program is going to do for you. Now, on the bottom and the top of every page, you get these menu scripts here. And there's letters, handouts, presentation, questions, skills, cities, rivers, photos, videos, quizzes, and a script. So let's hit letters. And when you do hit letters, you'll go over to another, uh, another uh, page. And on the top of the page, you'll see an, an, audio, an audio program right here that when you hit that link, I will talk to you for about 60 seconds setting up uh, the sales letters and the, the, the campaign and what it's all about. And then I go down and I tell you a little bit about the selling letters and the Google search, how you can do a Google search. And then uh, you hit these blue links here and I give you a sample sales letter. So let's hit this blue link right here. And now you have a sales letter that you can edit or copy or do whatever you want. And this is sent to local um, Rotary Clubs and different organizations introducing your offer to uh, have a lunch and learn session with them. So there's the letter right there. And then there's also a second letter, a reminder letter, a future seed letter. And I have them in PDF and in doc format. Now, the doc format you can edit, and the, obviously the PDF you can't. But you have the sales letter, the, sec the follow-up letter, and then a future seed letter, which means that they didn't say yes or no, and a couple of months later you want to touch base with them again, so you have another letter there. So there's three letters on the letter page for you to stimulate your thinking um, after you Google 10 or 15 places, the Delray Beach Club, the driver license office. You know, these are clubs that I, I Googled. What did I, I, put, I put in uh, the zip code. And I put in associations. That's what I that's what I googled in this case. So you can find your hit list and then send them the letter. So that's what the letter is all about. Now, when you do meet with them, you're going to want to give them a handout. So.
So I give you again on the handout page a little audio explanation and then a sample handout. Well, let's skip the presentation for the moment. You go over to questions. Well, what if they ask me questions, Mike? Well, on the question page, a little audio intro and then a PDF on a number of different things they could ask you. And if you read through this, you'll become familiar with what kind of questions might be asked and you'll become more knowledgeable. Now, what will happen pr probably, as soon as you memorize these 50 questions, they'll ask you 51. You know, but that's okay. You can't know everything about anything, but document that 50 first, put it on this list, and then build your own Q&A list. But that's what that is right there in the Q&A. So now, from the Q&A, we go over to skills. And what the skills section is, is some uh, YouTube videos from me that you already have on the inner circle up on our website. But these are selling skills, eye contact, enthusiasm, persistence, uh, motivation. I mean, these are just different uh, uh, videos that I've done, three-minute to five-minute videos on selling skills is in this section. Now, in the cities section, I didn't want to give you a geography lesson because whatever cities and towns and countries pertain, you can easily Google that yourself and, and find out, or Wikipedia, and you can find out all you need with a quick Google search. So I wasn't just going to regurgitate the Internet to you. But I did remind you that the cities were Amsterdam, Wielshofen, Budapest, Vienna, boom, boom, boom. You can read the cities there, the countries, the land options. These are cities and countries and land options that you can Google yourself. Now, if you think I need to go into this section in more detail, let me know. Again, there's a little audio bit in the front. On the rivers, it's the same, uh, pretty much the same as the cities, uh, opening with an audio clip and then talking about the Rhone, the Rhine, the Moselle, the Danube, the Main, the Volga. Again, easily Googled. And you don't need you don't need me me for that. Now in the photo section, now this is important. On the internet, 72 dots is good enough. It's okay. 300 dots is okay, is real good. But on and pixels, we're talking about pixels on pictures. If you ever see six, 72 pixels, that's fine in a internet picture. That's probably 72 you're looking at now. Remember when you used to take silly putty and put it over a comic strip and you take it off and you have a picture on the silly putty, but then when you stretch the silly putty, the picture got distorted? Well, that's what happens when you blow up pictures. Pictures are just a series of dots. So if you're going to blow this up on a big screen in front of the Rotary Club, it will look shaggy because it's a 72-dot pixel picture. Now, where I failed is I can't get real high-density pictures. So these would look great on your computer screen, but if you blow them up, I, I, you have to go get high-res pictures. And I would suggest you go get those from, from different river cruise companies because I, I don't have those. I got these off the Internet. But these are pictures that you might want to show. They look fine in a computer, but when you blow it up on a screen, it wouldn't be so fine. So there's my, my caveat there. On the video page, all I did was I took all the videos I'm doing on here and put them in one place so you can go back and look at all the videos in one spot. So if you wanted to do a refresher, you go to the video page. On the quiz section, I took an old uh, Jeopardy game and put rivers, countries, cities, and ships. This is a PowerPoint download. You can download this uh, PowerPoint and you hit rivers for 100, and they'll ask you a question, and then you click answer, and they'll give you the answer. Now, the beautiful thing about this, and you can do this with your own people in your office too, believe me, after you've asked yourself these 20 questions, you will know them. You, you play this game, and you will internalize the answers. It's one of the quickest ways to, to uh, implement or to uh, ingest knowledge is by playing this game. Because if you know countries for 200 and they'll ask you uh, what country is Budapest in, um, and it says Hungary, you'll know that. You just know it forever because you just you, you saw it in the game. So it's a great way uh, to get knowledge from, from a, a, a book into your head.
and you have that as part of the program as well. And the script, uh, let's see, the script is the last section. And what that is, is the river cruise difference. And what I do here in these audios is I just read what you can read in print here. But after you read this, and look, notice I said five times. I want you to listen to each recording five times. You hit that button, the recording will go. And in this section, I'm talking about scenic, gentle, comfort, views, castles, excursions, and convenience. These are the buzzwords that are written right here. Now, if you play this five times, you'll be, you can read this along with it because that recording is that paragraph. You will internalize these important points, scenic, gentle, comfort. And after you do your homework on this, let's go to the second one. Unpack one, stylish staterooms, relaxation, balconies. Well, that's what that says, and that's what that audio plays. So when you go down through this script section here, and you do it five or six or seven times, you will internalize. You will, you will, you will get it. You'll, you, the information will become yours. And then you don't need to read it, and then you don't need to listen. You just go in and you talk it. You might give yourself some bullet point talking points of small tours where that triggers a thought. So I talk about small tours, intimate meals, where that triggers a thought. So I'll talk about intimate meals. But these are the selling points of taking the river cruise. So you do this one five times, and you'll become, a, you'll become an expert. So now the presentation. Let's go back to the presentation. This was a little tricky because I couldn't embed sound or video into a PowerPoint. So what I did was I give you a PowerPoint presentation right here. If you click here, there's about 60 slides in a PowerPoint presentation for you to edit as your own. You then, on your end of the computer, you then can internalize music and play it during your program. Okay. To play music on a PowerPoint, it's got to be on the same system. So for me to have it on my system, you won't be able to play it. So I gave you the slides, the PowerPoint slides there, right here. You download them. And then you go embed music. And if you don't know how to do that, then we'll, we, I can teach you over the phone or in another course. But you got to put the music in on your side. But that being said, if you click here, Let's see, where's the movie? Oh, th here's the movie. This is the PowerPoint on the bottom. This is where you get the PowerPoint. Here is an MOV. It's a movie. So you can download the movie, and when you play the movie, you will get the music and, and the video. And what I did, it's about an eight-minute movie where you watch, you, you actually cruise down the river to the music of one of the evening entertainments on the cruise line. And in my case, it was these great violin players. So it's soothing violin music to pictures and videos cruising down the Danube. So that's what you get in that click. I have stored the PowerPoint presentation as a movie. There's where you get. And you can listen to that after we hang up tonight, today, and go listen to it because it's a movie. But the PowerPoint is there's no music. Okay, so that's there. That's the difference there. So what I tried to do was I tried to get, write the letters, build the strategy, introduce you to handouts, show you a physical presentation, address the questions that might be asked, enhance your selling skills, give you a little thought process on the cities and the rivers involved, give you a uh, library of photos recapture the videos that were in this whole program on one page, quiz you on what you just learned, and then walk you through a script so you can internalize the information a little bit easier. So, so this, now, if you go, write this URL down, www, now, now listen to me, listen to very carefully. This is a work in progress. This is not a finished product. Now, that being said, you can hurt me on this, because if you send this out as a finished product, it's going to hurt me. So it's not. This is a work in project, a process that I'm sharing with you, Inner Circle members, to give me feedback. This is a beta in-process project. So don't, don't tell me this is Mike's work, because it's not done yet. But 
That being said, go to www.moron series. I put it on my moron. Uh, I put it on my moron uh, website because I didn't know where else to put it. Um, www.moreon series. S e r i e s. Moronseries.com forward slash cover. C o v e r. www.moreonseries.com forward slash cover and uh, you'll go right to this site that I'm looking at here on my on my set and you can punch the buttons and bounce around and and uh, knock yourself out and then after you do that give me some input give me some pros and cons if you like it you know um, you know let me uh, let me know that because if it's if it's good I like to hear that too and if it needs work I, I need to hear that so so there you go um, consider yourself one of the few people who have seen this yet and um, now the ball is in your court so I have I have the uh, chat room open. Does anybody want to uh, mention anything here? Thanks, Lynn, Lynn, uh, Lynn K. for that uh, uh, nice comment there. And, and thank you for the, yeah, Lynn, that was very nice. Thank you very much. Anybody? Okay, if nobody has anything, all right, then I'm going to hang up. This meeting's over. Um, thank you, Nancy, for that quick note. I appreciate that. Take a look, take a listen, bounce around a little bit, and um, and let me know what you think because I want to send this to uh, I want to send this to um, Ama, and I'd like to uh, have your inputs before I do because I'm sure that uh, with your help I can dot a few eyes, and uh, and things will go pretty cool. So there you go. Uh, talk to you later. Thanks for stopping in today, and this meeting is over.